It's been well established that our early life environment actually influences our health and disease later in life. So the environment that you're exposed to as a fetus is going to mold the way you grow and develop, and it's going to influence your health and disease risk later in life. Now, the age of puberty um, in developed countries has been dropping over the last 100 years. It's dropped about uh, from the age of 17 down to the age of 12 and a half years of age now is um, pubertal onset in adolescence. Here at the University of Auckland in our labs, we're interested in understanding the relationship between early life nutrition during fetal life and early neonatal life and how that influences reproductive maturation, so the age at puberty and whether or not that actually influences reproductive function. So what we've done is we've used an animal model to understand how changing nutrition during the maternal pregnancy environment, but also during lactation, so that early neonatal period and how that impacts on pubertal onset. What we've shown is that when we feed mothers a high fat diet during pregnancy and lactation, it actually brings pubertal onset forward. So they go into puberty early and they also have changes in ovarian function in a way that we think it might predict accelerated or early ovarian aging and it might therefore impact on their fertility later in life. And of course, we want to understand how this is going to impact um, other generations down the line. We hope to inform educational programs so that parents and adolescents understand what is happening in, um, in their physiology and how it relates to reproductive maturation. We also hope to inform policy and government health policy and how this can actually help um, the greater community actually in New Zealand.